Hey everybody, welcome back, Falcon, Dead in Bermuda, day number 10, or I should say night number 10 because we're in the night portion already. We have a little conversation over here with Bob, our resident fisher, along with um, Jacob over here, which is actually pretty good because I hope they have a pretty good little powwow tonight because if they do, that means they'll be actually fishing together a lot better so they can bring some more food for us. And right now we've been kind of surviving on fish, so let's hope it actually continues for us. Um, Bob, you don't eat. Useless parasite. No, not today, thank you. He eats less than a top model. Scary. Well, you know, maybe he's just trying to keep himself in shape here, Bob. Maybe, let's just throw it out here, Bob. Maybe you could probably, you know, pick up a few hints from Jacob over here, dog. That's all I'm saying. I know you're kind of a hefty dude, and that's your thing. But, uh, you know, hey. You gotta be like Hurley. Uh, or don't be like Hurley from Lost. I mean, he was in that island forever. He never lost weight. But then again, if you subscribe to the whole idea that they were, you know, dead from the begin to begin with... Maybe that's the reason why Hurley never lost weight. But anyway, uh, they're still left, you know. You can hear. You can have your share. I'll cut you into steaks if I can. Steaks? Should that say steaks? Like actual, you know, steaks that you cook? Maybe. Could be. No, really. I'll go to sleep early. What a weirdo. He won't last long. What a useless blob. He won't last long. Oh, great. Hey, yeah, get along even worse. It's not like I depend on both of you guys fishing together for food. Alrighty, well, that happened. That's unfortunate. Alrighty. Uh, luckily, we don't, we're not dealing with, like, you know, over 40 hunger today, which is something we had to deal with last time. So, hey, I feel relatively good about our fish scenario over here. We're up to eight dried meat. That's actually pretty good, too. Alrighty. Um... So, again, remember that the fish is going to actually cause some sicknesses here around, but we have no choice but to deal with it until we get that stove up and running. Or research to begin with, and then built. So, it's still a while away before we're going to get the stove over here. So, let's start off with um, you. Great. And use it again. Excellent. Two sickness, that's actually pretty good. Uh, 22 hunger. Uh, we'll drop some on Julia as well. Good on you, Julia. I might actually have some fruit to top you off here. I just want to get everybody to the greens. As long as we're in the greens, I can kind of deal with it afterwards. Let's go ahead and use it on you, and we'll use this on you. And again, we have to, might as well finish up the fish, because they're going to either way rot into possibly the diminished food over here, which is actually pretty bad. One of five, no good. No bueno. Um, let's see here. I guess we'll probably toss one on Alice, and the last one we'll toss over to... I guess we'll do it to Yuri, because he, we depend on Yuri for quite a bit. And then we'll just toss fruit over to Julia, and then fruit over to Jacob. Everybody's in the green. That is good enough for me. I could use up some dried meat right now, too, if I wanted to, just to not deal with, you know, yellow bars every single time. But I think this is fine. This is actually pretty good. Let's go ahead into next now. All right, so fire intensity went down. It went down by 30% in one night? That feels like a lot. My lord. Water supplies went down to 25. Does it normally go down that, bit, that bad? Huh, I don't really remember. Okay, well, that's, uh, that's a really big uh, reducing of fire intensity there. From 68 down to 38, huh? My lord. The thing is that we're actually trying to save up some wood. <laughs> no, but we really are because we're going to need some to actually make the stove once these guys are done over here researching. All right, so let's actually consider this here really quickly. I'm thinking, guys... Oh, Jacob has to go back to fishing, though. You, for a fact, have to come back over here. Uh, fatigue is actually relatively high. Now, if I send Bob... Bob's still relatively depressed, too, by the way. But you guys need to go back to fishing. Although, 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 check this out. Check this out here for a while. I have an idea. We still have that fishing spot with three more attempts, right? And that doesn't really cause any fatigue or anything else. So what if I just send Bob over there to fish that out completely? And then we just have him focus on reducing depression completely. And then tomorrow, he could probably start go back to uh, fishing on a day-to-day -day basis here. I don't think that's a terrible idea, Falcon. I actually like the way you think it. I would like to subscribe to your magazine. I don't really have a magazine. Don't don't ask me. Uh, I don't think people would like to read what I have to say anyway. So, Bob, you on the other hand, we just need one person researching and they'll complete that already. So, we could leave... What is it, Ileana? Yeah. No, no. Where's Ileana at? Oh, she was over here having to talk with Bob. Ah, uh, let's see here. You guys get along? How do you guys get along? Pretty good now, actually. And she's actually kind of tired still. So you know what? This actually could help both of you out. I'm, I'll let you both hang out there for a bit longer. Alice, your depression is kind of high too. Hmm. But I do possibly need you finding fruit soon. Actually, not really. I don't think that's too much of a requirement, right? You know what? Let's actually get you over here for some depression talk as well. <laughs> get you down here for some depression talk. And then, you know, let's, you know, just have a powwow over here. I think you guys could kind of manage that. Julia, 
relatively high in fatigue, baby. You're kind of always finding areas for me, so you know what? I'll have you take one off, and then we'll probably have you in the night port or in the afternoon portion explore again. You guys are fine. Alejandro's fine. Yuri's a bit fatigued, yeah, but, um, you know, Yuri, we're gonna have to deal with that fatigue for a bit while longer here, I'm gonna say. I don't think I have any more ginseng tea either, right? No. Uh, yeah. So we'll focus on wood over here. What's the stock supply you're gonna bring in? 5 to 10? We're up to 15 already? I do believe we need about 20 to 25 for the stove. I'm not sure if we're gonna require some stones either, but that's the reason why I'll have them scour for wood one last time, and then we'll have... Hopefully this researched, finally, so we can know exactly what is the requirements for the stove. So you have to stay here regardless of which. And then Julia, you rest. Your depression is ooh, a little bit high too, you know what? The problem with depression is that if you don't take care of it, it's going to have an adverse effect on other things here. Like for instance, let's see here. What exactly is it I'm looking for? Take nap depression. Depression, what this does is a negative 10% to all mental skills, and increases 1 to 2 overnight due to hunger, 0 to 1 overnight due to sickness. Oh, well, yeah. Negative 10 to all mental skills. Well, you know what? She's not really doing anything mental related, I guess. So, yeah, you know what? Yeah, just rest. Uh, Jacob does do stuff mental related, and Ileana on occasion with the researching. Ileana, almost exclusively. Jacob, not so much. He fishes on occasion, too, but... This will help us out, plus the fatigue is actually kind of high, yeah. You know what, let's just have you rest straight up. You need depression talk for sure, and then you just need fatigue talk, but... I feel that with three of you, you'll probably have a better talk. Plus your relationship is actually kind of high, all three. Alrighty, so that's fine, you guys have a depression talk, you guys rest. You finish up the research, and then the guys are gonna come out here and scavenge a bit more. I like it, let's go forward, let's make sure for a fact though that we don't need, or we have any extra items that we could use here. No, not really. This is going to be for sickness whenever we do need it, so I'll hold on to that a bit longer. Actually, that doesn't use uh, doesn't we can't use that straight up, right? When used properly. So we probably need a station, like a doctor type station. I know we have a doctor in Winters, but apparently she can't use those drugs straight up. She might have to like refine them, cure them, who knows what. Uh, alrighty, we have one area to check out before we go forward though. Oh, let's go back to fishing too really quickly, because we're going to need some food anyway. So we have three fishes indeed, we'll come in here with Bob, and uh, well... Fighting stealth. Yeah, let's just do it now. He's gonna probably fail this. Although, you know, he surprised me last time around. He actually got... That's a huge fucking beast. Good God. Um, he surprised me last time around. He actually passed a stealth check at 8% success rate. It was redon redonkulous. I failed. Oh, no. I have failed higher um, stealth checks than that. Only one fish? No, no, no. I need at least nine coming in tonight, my friend. You better make these good. I wonder if three is the highest you could actually get from... Look, he, he passed another one. That's actually surprising. He leveled up too. Come on. Plus one. Oh, that's no good. No good at all. Bob. Bob. We were really expecting a good haul here so we could actually keep you from fishing. You're more than likely going to have to fish in the PM then. Because we are going to need some food. Um, injuries at 10%. That's okay. We don't really have to use a painkiller just yet. I do want to go ahead and use up your skills though. You kind of leveled up right now. Information, four skills, pretty bad, but okay. Um, we focus non-stop on fishing, I'm gonna say, right? He's the one keeping us alive right now. So, 41 effectiveness. On occasion, what else is that you do? You also used to be a builder as well. Bob the Builder. You used to be Bob the Builder with Jury too, right? Hmm, Constitution 80. I don't think, I'm not sure which one is the one that actually dictates fishing. Is it just constitution, maybe? Exploring, gathering, harvesting, hunting? I mean, it seems to kind of fall in the category of fishing, if I had to wager a guess here. It's obviously not that. Medicine knowledge, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's gonna probably be just straight up fishing. Well, let's actually heighten this up. Remember, right now he could bring in 10 fish with uh, Bob or with Jacob together. So if we heighten this up a little bit, maybe he could bring in like 12 with any luck, you know? So we'll do that and then maybe two more constitution. If that does dictate the um, depression, or not the depression, but the fatigueness for fishing, we could do at least that. That's actually green highlighted now. That makes me think that's a good thing. So we'll do one more to fishing right here. Okay, so you have your depression talk right now. Let's go forward. Oh, we still have one more area. Oh, the one that we found, because we went back to fishing. So let's go ahead over here and do one more fishing thing with Bob. He's at 84 fishing now. Come on, Bob. Give me like a, a 7 or something. You, I'm actually quite surprised that he keeps actually passing those uh, stealth checks with only like, you know, 11 success chance over here. It's ridiculous. Plus one fish. That's terrible. 
So essentially, he found us three fish for tonight. Obviously, we need a lot more than that. So he's going to have to fish nighttime. Now, we cannot fish anymore. So at this point, we might as well do the event over here. So we could search or we could do take a dive. If we take a dive, I'm pretty sure we're going to get injured quite a bit. So let's do a search instead. I'm not sure this is going to be even better than, you know, diving in there. But, you know, maybe it might avoid some injury. So we'll go ahead and use Julia for this one because she's our explorer for a fact. Fail that. See? She fails a 60% chance. Bob's over here passing 8% all the time. Uh, you swim right above the center of the bubbles and take a dive. Passing through seaweeds, you move your hands frenetically on the seafloor, hoping to grab something. You swim back to the surface almost out of breath, holding something in your hand. Alas, you scared all the juicy fishes away in the process. Now, I w I'm aware that was going to happen. One second here. Two miracle potions. I'm not sure what that's all about. I'm aware that we're going to scare the fish. Now, does that mean that this could be like a regenerative area? Now that I expanded the five fishing chances that we had, would it refill tomorrow? If so, I'm going to feel really upset, but I don't think that's how it works out. I'm pretty sure after a while, the fishes roam around there, and the event is set up in a way where it's telling you, hey, just a heads up in case you didn't fish beforehand, they will disappear, so next time around, don't do that. I hope that's how it works out anyway. So, um, yeah. Miracle potions, though. Let's find out what those are, but we also have a map to check out over here. Ooh, a floating chest. Uh, let's inspect it here. A uh, wooden chest is floating peacefully underwater. It looks really old. You wonder if there is a sunken ship somewhere near. That would mean that you were not the only ones to have crash landed on this island, and that has been going on for a long time. It's purgatory, man. Alright, so we could search, we could scavenge for some wood, we could hide the booty, we could play fake pirate, hide the booty. <laughs> uh, wouldn't this just essentially be the same thing, hiding the booty and playing fake pirate? I don't know. I, I do know that hiding the booty might possibly have a good adverse effect to depression. Playing fake pirate sometimes has a negative effect, I'm pretty sure, but we just want to search it for one. So, I guess we'll probably... Oh, scavenging. We need scavenging for this one, huh? I'm going to send um, Alejandro out here. You're going to probably get injured, but we'll see. Oh, yeah. You failed. Uh, what's the injury like? Not too bad. You're still under 10%. Pretty good. Uh, you thoroughly searched the chest and hoped to find some pirate's treasure. Instead, we found some pirate's grog. Alrighty. Uh, before we continue over here, we could scavenge this for wood, hide the booty, or play fake pirate. Oh, I forget which one's the positive one of those, so I don't want to take that chance just yet. Let's go back to camp here really quickly. Let's find out exactly what we got here. So we got Miracle Potion and some Pirate's Grog. 20 to injury, but it's going to make you hungry. So if we're hurt, but we could definitely expend the hunger, we'll use that. Good to know. And then Miracle Potion, plus 10% to all states. Ooh. Or I guess I should say negative. That is actually pretty good because all states? Wow. That is a Miracle Potion indeed. We could use it now on Bob and have him start fishing. Or do we just wait for a really critical time where we could then use it for a fact? Oh boy. Because right now we have three fish going into the night. Remember, a fishing expedition could bring in from 0 to 10. Last time around we gave it a try. So, assuming we had Bob fish at PM time, if he brings in like a terrible haul, we're going into the night time with, you know, 3 to 5 fish maybe, if we're lucky. And that's not going to be enough to feed everybody. Oh man, this is a tough one. But I know for a fact we don't need Miracle Potion that high. You know what? I'm thinking one Miracle Potion on him and we have him fish now. Yeah, I think that's fine. So we'll do this. It is going to be enough to bring Hunger down, Depression on to 26, Fatigue to 1, and Injury to 10. So that's going to clear him up quite well. So we'll use that on you right there. Perfect. Look at that. A lot better. So we'll have you come over here to fish now. And you can bring in by yourself 0 to 7. Uh, Jacob does have to rest, though, so this is going to be your show here alone. Bring in something good. Now, you girls over here, fatigue is at 35. We're almost done with the research here, too, right? I'm almost considering doing this. You come over here. You come over here. Your fatigue is high, but that's okay. I just need you to research this, and then tomorrow, or even in PM, I could have you rest for a fact. And then you guys can have a little powwow and get some fatigue out of the way. That's good here. Do we want some fruit? No, no, I'll have them rest. And then you guys will actually have to scavenge wood again. Alrighty, good. This is fine. Let's go ahead and go forward. Am I correct here? Am I liking what I have here? Yes, I do. Let's go forward. Alright, so that's 100%. That's gonna be our kitchen. Cooking, or cooking pot, whatever. Kitchen, cooking pot, you know what I meant. Alright, so I'm happy to have that, but we still have to research it, or uh, build it. We have a research now, but now we have to build. Fatigue went down relatively fine. They had a little bit of a tidbit of a fight there, but that's okay. Fatigue down to 30. 21. Good. You can now fish with um, Bob. Bob, come on. 
One. Bob, you're breaking my balls here hardcore, dog. Eight wood, that's pretty decent as a matter of fact. Yuri's gonna probably have to get some rest pretty soon. Maybe even Alejandro. We'll see. Alrighty, so... You needed some rest for a fact. Okay, Bob, over here. Alright guys, come on. This one bullshit is not really cutting it right now, okay? Alice, you're going back for fruits because we might have to rely on some fruit tonight. And winter's 28% fatigue. 26 depression as well. Oh boy. You know what? Julia, I'm gonna have to have you bypass and exploring tonight. I'm gonna get that depression down and that fatigue down a little bit. Yuri, 52. How much wood do we have? We have 23. Oh, let's find out exactly how much wood do we do need before we make this decision here. So, if we wanted to build a cooking pod, we need 25 wood as I expected, 15 rope and 5 stone. We... or 15 rope. We need 10 rope, 2 wood, 5 stones. Okay. Uh, we need to uh, stoke the fire tonight too, I'm pretty sure. So here's what's gonna happen. We are gonna bring this up to 80, that's fine. We are gonna have Yuri take a rest. His fatigue is really high. Can you bring in at least 5 for me today? You could do 3 to 6. With a good haul, you have enough. I hope you can pull it off on your own, my friend. I really need that right now to happen. You guys are gonna have a little powwow here and get some... Fatigue out of the way while we're at it. You just rest straight up. You guys fish. You are gonna go out here and scavenge. Uh, what if you gave me a hand here instead? 5 to 10. This would, I guarantee the fact that we would have enough wood. But, if we need some fruit for tonight, because these guys don't fish well, this could actually hurt us in the long run. But we do have some dried meat for emergency. Yeah, you know what? You guys scavenge together for some wood. That's okay. And then... Oh yeah, you're done. You got the research done. I'm not sure what it is the next thing that is you have to research here. I have never unlocked anything beyond um, kitchen, or cooking pot, I guess I should say. So at this point, I'm kind of lost as to what they're going to do. What if I had you deal with these uh, fine ladies over here? Two and a half? Three on their own, so never mind. Just get some fatigue, cured up, same with Yuri, and that's fine. Okay, let's go forward. I think I am relatively fine with my decision here. Alrighty, come on, guys. Depression down, good. Depression down, good. Fatigue, good. And alrighty, under the green, more than enough. Nine powwow, excellent. What about you guys? Yes, good, Yuri. Not as great, but at least they're kind of close to the green already. Come on, come on, guys. Come on, please. Come on, please, don't screw me. Oh. We're going into the night with six fish. So we're going to have to probably use some meat or some fruit. Well, you know what happens. And they got enough wood, though, that we need for the uh, cooking pot. So now we can start, start searching for the rope and then the stone. And we can get that cooking pot up and running soon. Alright, where did you learn to fight like that? You're a wild beast. <laughs> uh, she's a wild beast, the right, dog. Julia. <laughs> I'm bored, alone, at home, when my husband goes to work. So I spend most of my time at the gym with my quote-unquote friends. I'm not sure what that means, Julia. Are you, are you leading us on to believe that you're like a cougar? And you're having a little bit of an extramarital affair on Yuri over here? One day I decided it wasn't enough fun, so I started practicing various martial arts. I'm quickly bored, you know, so I must change partners regularly. Oh, that's what she's saying. Okay, Julia, I like you so much, but I ha I don't condone cheating on your significant other, especially when you're married to them. I, I don't condone cheating on in general. It's a bad thing. If you're unhappy with somebody because you have to... I, I don't know, I don't even want to get involved with this conversation right now, but, you know, if you're going to be cheating on somebody, at least have the decency to, you know, break up with them before you cheat on them, you know? Anyway... I'm quickly bored, you know, so I must change partners regularly. Wink. Oh, good god. Impressive. You're really stealthy, too. Can't hear any step from you, even in the deep jungle. I don't think Alejandro's really catching on as to what the hell Julia's saying over here. Thanks to 10 years of Royal Moscow Ballad and my fit shape, of course. <laughs> of course, Julia. You're quite fit indeed. You're more resourceful than you look. That's good news. If only you'd help. Blah, blah, blah. Or others do that better than me. Let's keep our little specialties. I'll tell you about my other specialties some other time. Yep. Oh, yeah. I don't like them having a good affinity to each other because um, Yuri's my dog, you know? He actually helps me out quite a bit. I don't want Julia cheating on Yuri with um, Alejandro over here. Plus, they might, you know, kill each other afterwards or something. Who knows? Alrighty, so here's my worry. Six fish tonight. Alrighty. Luckily, we're, we have a few people that are kind of high, yeah, but it could be worse, I guess. So let's start off with Winters over here. 31. No sickness. Good. Uh, let's give Ileana. Oh, Ileana's getting kind of rather sick there. We might have to use one of those um, health things pretty soon. Same with um, old Jacob over there. 
Oh no, 19%. Oh, Yuri. I'm sorry, dog. I'm gonna have to stop feeding you fish here for a while. Uh, let's go ahead with Yulia one more time. And we'll throw this last one over to Alejandro. Okay. Now we have a few choices here to make. Do we use up some fruit or do we use up some emergency meat? I think... Start throwing some of this meat around here. Throw the meat around, he says, with a smirk on his face. Uh, okay. We'll do that. And... Bob. And now we use some fruit over here, so let's hopefully bring you down to the green. Green is what I'm looking for, guys. Green is what I'm looking for. Not money. There you go. Okay, good. Um, we're rather low now. We have to definitely have some good fishing expeditions coming up tomorrow. But this will have to do. Let's go next. Fire intensity went down to 56, and water supplies are down to 17. That's the reason I didn't want to use up all my fruit, because we have to, obviously, upkeep our water supply as well. And we are coming into day 12. You know what? This is as far as I've been, ever. And I think we have a pretty good chance of keeping going forward. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like to support. It does mean a lot. I will catch you next time.